I'm guessing you're close to catching Spike. Maybe he could lead us to Wendell. If those two struck a secret deal, no wonder Wendell ditched the punks. Anyway, be careful in there. I wouldn't be surprised if that slime had more tricks up his sleeve.
can't end like this. Murphy, you got the cop killer. You decided to trespass on our turf, and that shit doesn't fly with us. What's that noise? Please put down your weapon. Have 20 seconds to comply. The situation is under control. You now have 15 seconds to comply. Stand back. I'm doing one better, cop. I'm out of here. You now have five seconds to comply for I said three, everything is two, under control. One, Ed, I stand am now there. authorized to use physical force.
Sanırım işi bitti. Is he still alive? I am afraid not. OCP sent us a malfunctioning unit. I bet they did that on purpose. And what about the other cop killer? Where did Spike go? Wherever he went, justice will find him. I am looking for a female officer who arrived yesterday with a gunshot wound. You need to be a little more specific, honey. Her name is Lewis. She is in a coma. Ah, oh, second floor. Take the elevator. Uh, my wife. She was with me when they started shooting. I'm sorry. Oh, no. No. Sir, you're not allowed in there. That's the VIP section of the hospital. But there's so much room in there, and we're all cramped up in this little space. Sir? Hey, Murphy. She's right in here. Another visitor? She's in a stable condition. You know, some think that people in her state can hear what's happening around them even if they don't respond. Why don't you try talking to her? Now, I'll leave you two alone. Hello, Lewis. Allow me to update you on our case. I know you would hate to be behind on the investigation. I found Officer Briggs. He is dead. Wendell Antonowski has the street vultures collecting bodies. His intent is not clear. I opened your present. It helped. Thank you. I could really use your advice, Lewis. Take the body downstairs. But there's no more room in the morgue. Didn't you hear someone stole a bunch of bodies over the weekend? A corpse thief? What is this world coming to? Lewis, you always find a way to help. I'll keep her safe. Don't you worry about her. I've got 40 pal. Of course, VFIB. Okay, we gotta shock him. Let's get the ambu bag. Stand clear. Shock him. Clear. All right, no pulse. Let's go intracardiac epinephrine. Okay, everybody, clear. Stand clear. All right, I think that's all we can do. Let's call it. Most of the time. 6.15. Robocop, what a surprise. I'm guessing you hear about the missing bodies? No one from the police has come to talk to us yet. I suppose you are preoccupied with the living rather than the dead. Tell me about the case. Usually, we're pretty packed. There are even some bodies that have been here since Christmas. But a couple of nights ago, someone broke into the hospital and stole 30 of them. It's been a blessing in disguise, really. We've got so many unclaimed bodies that I feel like I'm starting to form relationships with them. Is there any link between the bodies? Actually, there is. 
Our thieves were very picky. All of the corpses had their brains intact. They didn't take a single corpse that had documented brain trauma. I've got to say they were very thorough. Anything else? That's it for me, but talk to the security guard in the lobby. He should know more. Now that I'm looking at you, didn't I work on you? I recognize that jawline. Finally! I've been calling you guys for the past two days. What do you know about the disappearance at the morgue? Sure, sure, I know I'm just a security guard, but I know how you operate. I've seen the shows, so let me break it down for you the way you'd understand. I estimate the incident occurred at around 300 hours. Multiple perps entered the GMH from the east and then proceeded to the BLA. Then, most likely, use the EFS to get down to the M-O-R-G-U-E. What can you tell me about the perps? We caught there later. You caught him? Where is he? Oh, I mean on camera. Uh, there it is. Caucasian male, late 40s, dapper dresser, if I can say so myself. That was very helpful. Thank you for your cooperation. No problem. No problem. Just because I don't have a badge or a service weapon or a cruiser and partner or even a bulletproof vest, that doesn't mean that I can't be of help to the police. Evet, bölgeden ayrılmak istiyorum. Good to see you in one piece, Robo. Mr. Becker wasn't happy when he heard about your little trip to Highland Park. But between you and me, what you did was quite impressive. Maybe it wasn't an authorized mission, but it can still give us an idea of how your systems are holding up. So, let's see how you did. Thank you for your cooperation. What's all the commotion? Hello, the mission is a bit key. This is not the time. You all know the procedure by now. Officer Cecil will gather Briggs' belongings and deliver them to the family. They asked for a small funeral, so I expect everyone to give the family space. Briggs was one of us. We should at least do something to honor him. Best thing we can do is get those butchers that did this to him. I want to see everyone in the briefing room in 10 minutes. Now back to work. Hey, Murphy. You've been to the hospital, haven't you? How's Lewis? Unconscious, but stable. <sighs> She'll pull through. I'm sure of it. It's time to hold OCP accountable. This can't keep happening. Relax, Kaplan. He's not wrong. How many more of us have to end up in the hospital or a morgue before we do something? It's like Sarge said, we need to get the guy who did it, so maybe let's focus on that? Speaking of which, there's someone who might know something. There's a guy in the jail that wants to talk to you, Robo. Aşağı ineceğiz demek ki. Nereye gideceğiz?
Tamam nereye gidiyoruz? Welcome back, Robo. You have a minute? First of all, I wanted to say I'm sorry that I hesitated back at that steel mill. I already filed a report on the incident to Mr. Becker. Fucking right. As I was writing it, I'd noticed a lot of opportunities to better myself. But considering that was our first mission together, it wasn't all bad, right? There are plenty of places to improve. That's actually something I wanted to ask you about. I've been getting to know different aspects of being a cop, and there's one thing that I keep underperforming at. It's shooting. Would you mind showing me how you practice at the range? Yes, practice makes perfect. Let us not waste any more time. You want to go now? <laughs> yeah, great. Let's go. I love the smell of this room. Should we start? First, I want to watch you practice. Can... Can I come in now? Myself. Well, that was awesome! Not yet. This has to be some sort of record. It is not. I took so many notes. Next time, do it quietly. Eliminate distractions. Being overeager is one of them. Ah, so that's the actual lesson. Now I get it. Is your service weapon properly prepared? I was issued this old gun and serviced it according to the manual. I will try it out. Sure thing. There you go. Everything okay? Your service weapon is broken. I calibrated it. I did everything the manual said. It is beyond repair. They must have issued it to you by mistake. Huh. I don't think that's entirely true. Other cops give me a hard time because Mr. Becker hired me to monitor you. But I guess that's the way it has to be. A cop must be ready Bence to get iyisi. a different gun. Sure. Thank you, Robo. Ah, there's my favorite law enforcement officer. Why are you in this cell? I come here to think sometimes, and the food is better than in the soup kitchen. That is called freeloading. If it's free, I'll take it. But seriously, I was hoping to see you. I heard what happened to Briggs. After everything he did for me, I'll do whatever I can to help you catch that Wendell guy. He seems pretty good at pitting people against each other. Maybe I'll find some of his dissatisfied customers who'd be willing to talk to me. It could be dangerous. You kidding? On the streets, I'm a samurai. Well, with Briggs dead, it probably makes me more of a... You are not a ronin. Yeah, okay. Just remember, if you need anything, I'm your guy. Griffin odası yukarıda. Evet, doğru yerdeyiz. Not a 
again. Why am I always the one that has to do it? It's not fair. Thanks to Robocop's insubordination, we finally have something concrete. At your service. Wendell Antonowski struck a deal with the street vultures at Highland Park. A place where, for some reason, we weren't supposed to go. Be that as it may, we're on the lookout for anyone from this biker gang. We also know what he's looking for. Yeah, dead bodies. Dead bodies whose brains are still intact, to be precise. Wow, that's even more messed up. Why would he need them? We'll get to the whys, but for now we need to focus on catching Spike. He's our connection to Wendell Antonowski. Since they know we're onto them, I'm expecting them to be in hiding. They're not hiding. Put on Channel 9. What in the hell? I repeat, OCP Bank is being robbed by the notorious street vultures. We'll keep trying to get closer for a better view. All right, everyone pack up. I want you all to be at SWAT's disposal. Sergeant, am I back on the case? I don't think Becker will give me grief if I let you go save OCP's money. You're reinstated. Everyone, move out! Move out. Look at that. One of the cops was actually bothered to show up. No need, SWAT's got it covered. What is the situation? Vultures came up with the great idea of robbing the OCP bank. They've got hostages, and they claim there's a bomb. They must be crazy to think that OCP will just let them leave with their money. Was there any sighting of Spike? Not yet. But I'm sure they wouldn't pull such a stunt without their leader. What is the plan? Let me make this clear. It's SWAT's plan. You're no part of it. Then you are going to need a new plan. With this buggy brain of yours, you think you still remember how to put the heat on them scumbags? I prefer to serve justice cold. Yukarı çık oğlum.
battle turned out to be quite intense. Ed 209's behaving themselves? So far, so good. You should be heading towards the vault. It's through the office area. I'm gonna change this now. Please put down your weapon. Please put down your weapon on your weapon. that the bank manager is held hostage in the vault. Where exactly is it? Find the manager's office, and we'll go from there. It's at the far end of the office area. Your presence here is unauthorized. So is depriving thousands of people of a roof over their heads. But OCP doesn't seem to mind that. Explain. Delta City. A heaven on earth that OCP plans to build in place of old Detroit? A city of the future where there is no crime or poverty. Do you believe the commercials? Unrealistic plans are not a crime. But the ways by which they're pursued may be. In order to create Delta City, OCP must first get rid of people who live in old Detroit. Now that's a topic I'd rather do a story on than you glitching. OCP offered these people investment in the project, the value of their property would cover the cost of entering the business. The later gains will far outweigh the cost, supposedly. You do not believe that. It's OCP. There must be a catch, and I think I found it. The documents say something about additional costs. I believe that's a loophole that OCP placed in order to scam people out of their homes. That is only suspicion. And I need time to prove that my suspicion is true. 
Time and some of these documents I found. If you detain me, the SWAT jerks will requisition them. You can go, but if you continue to disobey the law, you will be detained. Maybe I should have treated you more like a police officer than OCP's property. Anyway, the city owes you. And I owe you too. I can see you've reached the manager's office. Great. Now look for a switch that unlocks the doors that lead to the vault. If I was a bank manager, I would probably ask for that switch to be installed somewhere around- Now, take the doors behind the desk and turn left. The way to the vault should be open now. Nereye gidiyoruz? Robocop, I knew our founder would send his best. <clears throat> We're not done yet. Mr. Becker, you're, you're still alive. I only played dead so I didn't end up like you, with a bomb strapped to my body. Robocop, you have to defuse it. The explosion could cause the company enormous losses. I need the support of a combat engineer. I saw that Orpheus kid playing puzzle games on his brakes. Ask him for help. I'll be watching you from a safe distance. Officer Washington, I am looking at a ticking bomb. A, a bomb? Okay, I, I'm passing you through to the bomb squad. There is no time. I will need your help to defuse it. Gosh, I mean, I, I'll do my best, but, but just give me a moment. First aid, kidnapping. Are you looking for a bomb defusing chapter in the police manual? Found it. First rule. Call qualified personnel. Oh, no. Okay. Tell me what you see. Four cables, green, two reds, and blue. Four cables? Got it. Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. It is a C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect from the street vultures. Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. Okay. So they used this kind of bomb before. According to the diagram, you should detach three cables. Start from the one with the highest voltage, then proceed down one at a time to the one with the lowest voltage. There are two different color 12 volt cables. Which one do I detach first? Uh, okay, maybe this isn't the time, but I'm colorblind. I will have to improvise. Just remember, detach the one with the highest voltage first, then proceed down to the lowest voltage. was just a minor incident. Ready to get back to business? Cause I need to make a withdrawal. Like now. Well, 
I should really check upstairs. Nonsense. This is OCP. Money comes first. Now, open the vault. Th there you go, sir. Great. Now out of my way. What the hell is this? Where is all the money? Our founder has most of our capital tied up in a very ambitious and resource-heavy project. Uh, I can't believe old man's blowing all of OCP's money on Delta City. Have some respect, young man. Arnold's back with the money in the next... Well, even. You should be proud to work for such a great man. At this rate, soon there might be no one left to work for him. See what I'm talking about? Evet çıkar kafana. Hadi 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 açıl o. I am in pursuit of the remaining bikers. I have followed them into a tunnel. So that's how they must have gotten here in the first place. It seems they're retreating into the old industrial area. That must be where they've hidden their getaway vehicle. You gotta hurry. There's a deserted warehouse nearby. It's the only building with street access in the area, and it's big enough to store their food. It's your best bet to proceed there. Roger that.
God damn it! Anyone listening to this? I am listening, creep. Robocop! Why did Wendell Antonowski send you here? This was a suicide mission. We no longer deal with that arrogant prick. We had an agreement. We held our end of it. And apparently it slipped his mind to pay us for our services. Well, that didn't sit well with us. So now we're out to get what we're owed. The only thing you are owed is a prison cell. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm a vulture. I need my space. I'll see you around, cop. There he is! Take our pensions! Before the attack, we all thought our money would be safe at the OCP bank. Yeah, glad we got Murphy on our team. I have pertinent information regarding the case. We'll get to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go! Dr. Blanche is already waiting in the observation room. Once it's over, join us in the briefing room. big idea. Piece of junk taser blew the fuse when I tried to charge it. I'm ready for you, Robo. All right, let's see what's cooking under the hood. Once I'm done, he's all yours, Doctor. Hello, Robocop. Congratulations. I've seen your accomplishment on TV. I hope that I'll manage to remain professional despite sitting opposite a celebrity. How do you feel about being acclaimed as a hero again? It helps if the criminals know that they should fear me. I suppose it makes your job easier. I'm sure you'd love to share this accomplishment with Anne Lewis. You've seen her at the hospital, haven't you? How is she? She is stable. You cherish that relationship, don't you? She's an important part of your life. Your past life, too. She is. Just like your family. You're very protective of your past. OCP cut me off from my family. And how do you view their decision to separate you from them? My programming does not allow for family life. No. I guess that was never the intention. Nevertheless, you still think about them, don't you? What comes to mind when you try to remember your family? I see. Memories can be painful. Especially when they're connected to the ones you love. They tend to remind us of what we're missing. The thief that broke into my house I mentioned before. He was my brother. He was an addict who'd come over to steal things to sell so he could buy drugs. As you can imagine, my last memory of us together is not a happy one. But despite that, I still wouldn't want to lose it. It serves as a reminder of how I failed him. And I've been trying to rectify it ever since. I do not remember my family. I can only feel them. These feelings, how do they manifest themselves? as echoes of the past. But OCP sees them as obstacles that need to be removed. 
And now you're afraid that they sent me here to convince you they are right? Did they? What you need to understand is that regardless of outside influences, my client's well-being takes highest priority. Especially now that I understand how important these memories are to you, I will fight for you in every way I know how. If you let me. I think this is a good place to end this session. Thank you for your honesty. It certainly has been noted. I've got plenty to think about for now. So it wasn't a mistake when they didn't send us insulated gloves. I'm afraid not. Looks like OCP is really cutting costs. Yeah, just keep following the road. All right. The situation at the was bank that? was contained uh, in a relatively smooth <laughs> fashion. So what did we learn from it? Oh my God. When it's what? their money on the line, OCP will send RoboCop, the entire SWAT team, and a bunch of Ed 209s that actually work. Anything else? Wendell Antonowski no longer deals with the street vultures. That's right. There's been a rift in their midst, and I want to know why. Spike has proven to be talkative under suitable conditions. That's why I want you all to head to the city and do some actual police work. We need to find Spike. <sighs> the attack on OCP Bank was a desperate move. I'm sure there's plenty of theories floating around. So we need to listen to what the streets are saying to find where the vultures are hiding. I know someone versed in street talk. Talk to him. And, oh, I almost forgot. Murphy? Once you're downtown, the old man wants to meet with you. Oh, the old man himself? <laughs> what an honor. Yeah, he's the closest Detroit has to real-life royalty. Maybe for saving him all that money, he'll knight you or something. Enough! Head downtown, ask around, and most importantly, find Spike. Robocop! Over here! You wouldn't want to make the mayor of Detroit wait, would you? May I help you, Mr. Mayor? Oh, it's me who's going to do the helping. You know John Mills, I presume? The OCP puppet who's gunning for my seat as mayor? I've heard from a reliable source that he's planning to make you the highlight of his election beer. Judging by your expressive face, he hasn't talked to you about it yet, huh? That's what I figured. What a slimy bastard. Using your image to influence the good people of this city. And without your consent? That's clearly something that I would never do. But you know that I've always appreciated what you're doing for our city, right? So the real question is, what are we going to do about it together? I am not involved in politics. Well, well, let's not get too hasty. You can still show support for me, right? We're on the same side. I need to go. Campaign season is busy, but let me leave you with one word of advice. Whatever you do, make it clear that you are not siding with meals. You can be sure that they'll twist your every word and use it against you. That's what OCP does. Thanks for the talk, RoboCop. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods, vote for Kuzak! Robocop is getting a face-to-face -face with the old man himself? I'd tell him all about how the hey, OCP shiny. is fucking us over. Got a job for you. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't say a word if you actually met him. How are you feeling after the incident at the bank? Who gives a shit? I heard that you're heading to the city. Once you're out there, I want you to check one apartment for me. There's suspicion of domestic terrorism and corporate espionage, so expect a warm welcome. Should I assume hostility from the suspect? I assume you'll find sensitive data there. Look for it thoroughly and make sure it comes straight back to my hands. Tenement across the street from the arcade, apartment 12. Now go, I've got to prepare for a meeting. And remember, if you won't take care of it, another cop will have to. 
Another cop that isn't quite as resistant to deadly surprises as you are. Hey you, the old man is waiting for you upstairs. This entrance to the building is off limits. You have to use the staircase. Do you think it's gonna hold his weight? Doesn't matter. Yaşlı adam beni yukarıda bekliyormuş. The old man's waiting. So it's true what they say. You do have some kind of defect. Oh, it's good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. You did exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See? I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood. Nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city, a new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? I agree with all city improvement plans that have the citizens' well-being in mind. Glad to know you approve. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder, has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? The only burden it causes is to criminal scum. I admire your confidence. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problem. And it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? It helps me with perspective, but it also brings out things buried. That's part of the recovery process. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me, is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease?
My partner has been severely wounded and is being treated at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I'll make sure she gets the best care there is. Thank you. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. Take care of yourself. After all, the peace of Detroit depends on your well-being. see my FTO anywhere. Could I have his name, please? Over. Sure thing. It's Officer Rat. He should be in one of the dumpsters. That's the only place he belongs, if you catch my drift. Over and out. Right. Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening? Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. If you need experience that will enhance your senses, I will gladly be of assistance. I like trying I try new things, but let me take a rain check on that. Nah, tell me. What's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So, your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gale. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Any witnesses? Ah, uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. He's nosy. Maybe he could help. Are you positive that he escaped on the damaged motorcycle? <laughs> Not so much on it as with it. From what I gathered, the bike suffered more than just a dent. I'm guessing he must have dragged it to some nearby mechanic to get it back in shape. I think Ben's shop is the closest. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. I will not be involved in any illegal activity. That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind, and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? There are crimes happening that need attention. That's not a no. I'll be waiting here if you change your mind. Ah, they say we're in a record-breaking recession, but people are throwing away things that still work. Oh, this underwear looks so much new. No need 
to rush. They're just trying to depopulate our species. You eat my bait. <laughs> you knew it had poison in it. Now I'm sure you're no ordinary rat. Where'd you go, you little? Good day, citizen. A rightful citizen of Earth, to be precise. Aliens are swarming and killing us, and the police are not doing anything about it. We're all doomed! An accident happened here recently. It involved a motorcycle. I saw it with my own eyes. I've recorded the whole thing in my research notes so I wouldn't get mixed up. See, there are so many conspiracies happening in this city. The only trouble is... Those notes are locked inside my residence, and I can't seem to get the door open. Would you mind helping me with it? It's, it's one right over there. I think if you give them doors enough of a pull, they'll open. <laughs> with it, I put a lot of blood, sweat, and... Ha! That's it. Now let's have a look. I, I, I remember now. On the slot. I remember. That biker wasn't even trying to hide his alien heritage. His body had tattoos from a parlor nearby, and one of them looked rather fresh. Now I know where to go next. Thank you for your cooperation. You're going already? I've got more information about alien shenanigans if you care to hear. Why do you suspect the fugitive is an alien? He looked really mean. He had a horn. And that, together with his chunky body covered in tattoos, made him look like some kind of hellish narwhal. If you read my newsletter, number 28, you'd know that all sea creatures are otherworldly. That is why I don't eat sweet corn. How can you tell that the tattoo design matched the ones from the parlor? I've noticed that lots of aliens like to mark themselves with specific signs from that shop, so they can be easily recognized by their kin. I went there many times pretending to be window shopping. <laughs> But I've managed to copy all their secret symbols. And that biker's tattoo was one of them. The skin around it was pretty red, so I'm sure it must have been done very recently. Can you tell me about other matters besetting the town? Sure, can do. For starters, cats are aliens too. One of them can predict lottery numbers. He can be found near the gas station. And there's this woman who feeds all the stray cats. She must be one of the higher ups in the alien hierarchy. Also, I've heard some aliens use the VHS store to hide treasure. And last but not least, I've heard that some of them are planning to take over the courthouse. I'm sure you would never allow for that extraterrestrial scum to judge us. I have what I need. Stay safe, citizen. You're off to the tattoo shop? Just make sure not to get inked. Those designs are very alluring. When they start talking to you, just cover your ears and start singing. Full metal armor, and you still want piercings. Hey, respect. I am not here for that. A tattoo, then. It'll really bring out that jawline.
How about I bring out your jawline? Hey, man, no pressure. I was just trying to be helpful. Anyway, if you're not here for inking, what do you want? A biker called Spike. I heard he was your customer. I don't serve no bikers. Don't know who told you that, but it's a load of bull. Are you denying making tattoos for the street vultures? <laughs> You've got no proof, cop. Now stay off my case. I need to get back to my work. I found evidence of your connections to the biker gang. Nah, I'm not telling you nothing, cop. Spike and what is left of the street vultures are going down. It is your choice if you want to join them. Ah, fuck. I told him not to come in here when he was so hot. He brought this on himself. Where is he? Nah, he's got a place nearby somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I am afraid this information is too vague. His motorcycle must be parked outside. It's some sort of chopper. I don't know. You can check the plate number on that photo. Wise choice for a scum artist. Ugh. I can't concentrate with all those reflections bouncing off your armor. Hey, Robocop. Mr. Mills would like to have a word. He's waiting in the car. Is this the right button? Can it hear me? Yes, sir. He can hear you. Hey, Silver Boy. The tracker says you were near the apartment of that domestic we terrorist we talked about. Those guys just didn't Your memory see. is probably glitchy, so I figured I'd send you a friendly reminder. Check the place out. How do you guys in these? Over and out? Masoka. There's no need. Over and out. Inch. Yarım saat bu motosikletin hangisi olduğunu mu arayacağım?
Arkadaş nasıl bir sınavdan geçiyorum ya? They say that if Mills wins, we'll all get an apartment in Delta City. I don't care if OCP lost some money for once. City Hall is the decaying symbol of mismanagement and corruption. Detroit deserves a fresh start. Murphy, could you give us a hand? It's gotten real ugly. Feel no joy with the broadcast! Fucking OCP is good for nothing. Just shit. Be quiet, you moron! Yes, get working in no time, Mr. Wendell. Sir. Yes, we won't screw it up. He's using it, just like he used us. He hired us, but he failed to deliver. Talk about a sore loser. You had your chance and you blew it. Now it's the Torchance to deal with it, biker bitch! We've got company! You were invited! Let's crush this tin can! Saw it yourself. Mm. He needed us to extract brains from Why brains? He would never say. Wendell keeps his claws close to his chest. Where is it now? I bet it be. Yeah. 
Operator, requesting an ambulance. One unconscious fugitive suffering heavy blood loss. Operator, Wendell's trail leads to the outskirts west of town, continuing pursuit. First they can't even connect a few fucking cables, and now they don't even answer. Shh. It's the new guy. He's waiting for some bigwig to show up. He's planning to do some psycho presentation. And who is the big wig? That's what I want to find out. Mr. W, we still have no contact with the Funhouse. I'm on the phone. We're ready. I understand, but please tell him that this is not a meeting that can be postponed. I see. So, they ain't coming, right? Fucking suits! Keep your anger to yourself, or I'll share mine with you. Rambo? Who's there? Show yourself! You'd better not. As you wish, creep. You are under arrest. Come quietly. Do you really believe that's what's gonna happen? Uh, Take care of him, boys. I'll meet you on the roof. What's up, metal uh, freak? Forget where you left your car? You better go, Miss Ortiz. It seems 
there will be trouble. Is that you? Come, Come to, to us. us. Yeah, Dad, we're, we're waiting, waiting for you. Ja. Is that, Is that you? You, 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 you look, look different. different. You're, You're scaring, scaring me. me. I, I don't I like how scary, scary you are now. It's, it's not, not your dad, dad kid. kid. It's, it's not, not even a police, police officer. officer. I don't, I don't know, know what, what it is, is anymore. anymore.
The remains of my husband, a police officer killed in the line of duty, were used to create some kind of a metal monster. I need to bury it to move forward with my life. Do you have a funeral suit that would fit that empty? Okay. It thinks itself as human. A world-class husband. A father. A cop. Did you hear? It's true. You're not one of us anymore. You're not human. And you're not a real cop. You're, You're just, just the, the rotting, rotting remains of Alex Murphy. You're, You're something, something that, that should, should never have been. Something, something that should not exist. We have, we have to fix you. you. We, we have, have to erase you. And, and we, we will. will. Just, just come, come to us. Come, come to the, the rooftop. We are waiting. It's the crap that is stuck to our shoe. A cuckoo egg planted by OCP. We need to clear our station of this shit. We must smash that thing. Fire at will! You're not one of us. You feel that too, don't you? You're back. There's coffee in the kitchen. Do you like it? The mug. Dad, can you fix the camera? I think something's broken. Dad wouldn't miss it, would he? Pick me up at the station, I'll grab my gear. Do you really have to go? You look so sexy in that uniform. Why won't you stay a little longer? Why are you here? Do you not love your family? No attachments. No leverage. This is a gift. Don't take two! Welcome, Chopper. Let's, Let's take, take a stroll, stroll through your old home. home. Do you think you can just go back, go on with your life like nothing happened? This is a one-family house, built by ZM Industries. It's for sale because the head of the family to which it belonged was shot in the head. Your family has forgotten you. Why do you want to remember them? You attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Have you thought it over? Why not make me an offer? Why carry this burden? What is your sacrifice worth? Holding on to them makes you weak. Destroy them. Destroy them before they destroy you.
Alex Murphy, the one and the only. I'm here because you have something that belongs to me. You have my badge. Lewis gave it to me. Lewis is hurt because of you. Because you keep insisting that you're something that you're not. That you are still me and that I simply came back to life, but you're wrong. I'm dead and I want to finally rest, but you won't let me. Your delusions keep tormenting me and my family. You need to let us go. I want my badge back. I have it. So I remember. Remember what? The lie? Lewis knows us. She would not lie. Give it to me. It's mine. But, Lewis, I want it back. This is my badge. Then I'll have to take it back myself. You are strong, strong enough, enough to take, take him. him. Don't, Don't forget, forget you have, have a partner, partner who's counting on you. Take, take this, this gift. gift. Don't, Don't forget, forget who you are. are. Alex, Alex Murphy! Murphy. Get up, Robo. Get up, for God's sake. That's it, Robo. Keep going. Where's the chopper? chopper. The cops will be here any... Wendell Antonowski. Haven't you had enough yet? You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Relax. I'm not your enemy. If I were, you would have already... You have the right to an attorney. Hey! I, I wanted to help you! Release you from the burden of your past life, of your memories! But you, you don't want to lose them, right? Now I get it. Anything you say may be used against you. I can give you back those memories. All of them. We should help each other. We have the same boss! Police! God damn it, you again? People need to see this. Cuff him. He is a cop killer. Hands behind your back! Can you hand me my lighter? It's a family heirloom. I wouldn't want to lose it. You mean this trinket? It'll be safer in the prison depository. You'll pick it up yourself in... I don't know. 150 years? Plenty of time for rehabilitation. Top story. Wendell Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town, has been apprehended today. Despite his glitches, Robocop was able to capture Antonowski. The malfunction has again been caught on camera by our own Samantha Ortiz. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding its status as a machine. Here's a statement from John Mills, a candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Today, RoboCop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant RoboCop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote RoboCop. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products suffered a heart attack earlier today. The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. His condition is stable. We wish you a speedy recovery. Wendell's in prison and the old man is on his way out? Could this day be any better? Geez, Steph, don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo. You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. I knew he'd get him. I just knew he'd be the one to bust that asshole. Glad we have Murphy on our team. Is that the TV personality I keep seeing on television? Something not many people know about me. 
I used to be a car mechanic before I landed this job. Is that supposed to put us at ease, Morgan? Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? I am used to it. Of course. It's not your TV debut, but the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? That is not something a machine needs. So that's how you view yourself in this context. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue, but no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might have seen some of your glitching on TV, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? I wanted to get Wendell, even at the cost of my own life. Revenge rarely leaves us satisfied, but I understand your feelings. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation. Similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Nightmares. I think we're onto something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. I don't know. If it happens, I'm definitely getting sacked. I've got a degree in robotics, not in human relations. Sometimes I'm surprised you go to high school. Hey, I'd recognize those footsteps. What did you do this time? Uh, why does it have to be that I did something? Maybe one of your guys just got a little overeager. Did they? No. But none of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We? We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the... They lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting suspicious activity for someone at OCP. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. Talk to you later. Partner. Hey, 
Hey, I think you locked me out again. I can't hear you. We're busy Murphy, working. In my office. Yeah, I get it. Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's faces, but we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Windows payroll? All signs point to him. They do, don't they? And that leads me to another thing. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about it? Can you trust him? Despite shortcomings, he is trying his best. That makes me a little less anxious about signing him up to look after you. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington, and let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? She is an enormous help. She listens. Good. That's good to hear. Sometimes that's all it takes. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. Officer Washington! Yes, sir. You've got a new assignment. I'm ready and willing. Did you watch the game yesterday? I don't know what's wrong with our team. What losers. I want to throw the TV out the window, but it was too heavy. I pulled a hamstring. Wait, why are you asking me about my liver and kidneys? They shot me in the leg. She's waiting for you, Murphy. Come on, give me the skinny. I want to know everything. Ah, oh, Murphy, we started the party a little early. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, partner. It's my fault. I just got to hear what's happening at the precinct. 
In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on, this is time to celebrate. Louis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail. Let's party. If you don't think a strike is brewing... You know what? Let me get this grouch out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Louis. You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often. And with greater intensity. I don't think I've ever seen you in such a state. I just know how it affects me. So I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who... shot you. We should not let the past haunt us. Easier said than done. His presence reminds me of the day that I... that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. Neither of us could have predicted the consequence of our actions. That doesn't make me feel any less guilty. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now? After all this time? And why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. Damn Becker. We should just lock him up already. I would like that. Maybe there's someone who'd be willing to help us? I don't know if you heard, but the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk, but it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway, I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it. Did you hear? We're moving the old man to a private clinic in 20 minutes. Good. I don't think I can last a minute longer in this stench. Hey, where do you think you're going? To talk to the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. I serve this town with every drop of my sweat. I always try to improve people's lives. I was good to them. Just like you told me, Mother. We didn't... Michael, is that you? Your halo shines so bright. Someone in OCP was supporting Wendell's operations. I want to know who. Robocop? Oh, God. I'm getting close to my final days. And I just can't stand this uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? The pain was, is crushing. But every officer is aware of the risk. That is not what I wanted to hear. I believe that death isn't the end. You are walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. All saboteurs inside OCP 
won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I know you would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. <sighs> Before you go, could you be so kind and give me some painkillers? That's better. I can always count on you, can't I? Why the long face, Robo? They'll pump him full of OCP's cocktails on Monday morning and we'll be back to side deals. I'm gonna allow you to treat me like this. I am the mayor of this city. Robocop, you have to intervene. Only seek answers. You came, so you can follow a command. Surprising. Surrender, or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop. Meet the future of law enforcement. Power like yours, but at the push of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself. This is no appreciation party. Gunshots? What's going on? Becker has introduced me to his new robots. QEDs? They already functional? Mr. Becker bragged about them during my onboarding. I'll try to find something that can help. Just give me a sec. Restoring order. Stop your Suppressing hostile activity. in front of the OCP board. I'm looking at the footage now. Let us see if they ever got around to fixing it. Warm-up is over. Get ready for the real strike. I knew the guy that made you. Bob Morton, right? An arrogant brown noser. I used to be happy that he was dead. One last asshole on my way to Now... Continue the fight. 
suppressing hostile activity. and wanted to shut it down. He was certain that your brain was what was making you superior to them, so Becker continued to work on the project in secret. He took a big gamble. Hey, who are you talking to? Is that Oedipus guy helping you? Once I'm done with you, his career is over. You are durable, I'll give you that. You could become a strong part of my urban enforcement unit, but your redundant parts have too much knows you are helping me. He gave me access to the OCP data himself. Under these circumstances, I feel obliged to use them any way I see fit. Until now, I didn't want to damage you too much, but no more. Thank <laughs> you. 